Seven fifteen. We welcome Chanel to the table. Good morning, Chanel. Good morning to you both. Financial planners are urging families across the country to act now. Bella was on Fed Watch for us today, and Tom, there are more rate hikes to come. Yeah, more to come because next, Chanel. Absolutely. In the meantime, all right. Thank you, Tom. It is coming up on seven nineteen. Time for our first check of the weather, Mr. Roker. I know you got green somewhere. That's right. This weather, guys. I think the green glasses are a nice touch. I know. I'm glad. Yeah, I knew you were going to come through. Yeah, you always do. Subtle. Always do. <laughs> Never use the word subtle and out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we come back on the St. Patrick's Day, just entertaining us all morning, and they're gonna. They've been waiting a long time yes. to take part in New York City's yeah. big parade. They're blocking the streets. It is the world largest it is a blast oh. if you've ever been to oh, New York yeah. City you can't help but run into it but uh it's been on hiatus so we're gonna have a lot more on that and also stroll down Fifth Avenue 11 a.m. You, yeah. you got you know you're gonna get some kisses yeah. it's gonna happen really all over the country yeah, yeah. you know yeah. so we'll yeah. have more on all of the celebrations coming up but let's get a check to the NCAA tournament now Notre Dame is moving on to the next round after a thrilling finished last night in a game against Rutgers. The teams needed not one, but two overtimes to settle the score. Here's how it finally ended. Of course, March Madness for all the other teams gets underway today and tomorrow. Already a good series. Yeah, Already. Fun. Mm -hmm. uh, meantime, the NCAA Women's Swimming and Diving Championships are also underway. Right up next, red, white, and green. An inside look at today. Happy St. Patty's Day. Perfect. That was, that was what we call a perfect, perfect five shot. Perfect. Okay, so, oh, they're trying to get him to chug it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Enjoy your green beer. Yeah, we're going to have a lot more on the food, the fun, all the St. Patty's Day goodies uh, coming up throughout our next hour. Mr. Roker. What That's you right. Got? Well, you know, there are six cities, the six largest cities. <laughs> right after this. You'll probably have someone share it with you. <laughs> oh, I actually my use my. Okay, we're back with a gentle warning. Okay, <laughs> if you have shared your Netflix password with a friend or two, we have something you might want to know. Chanel. <laughs> so here's the deal. Under pressure with more competition and a trend that means lost <laughs> revenue, the streaming service is ready to crack down, launching a test program, charging more to users who pass on their login. Uh, uh. <laughs> so here's the deal. This test will roll out first in parts of Central and South America. It may or may not expand. Why did you press may not? <laughs> you got to punch that. There's still a chance. <laughs> yeah. There's still Gives you some time to get yeah. your house We've all had it. I mean, come yeah, on. We've had, had it. Had this yeah. Okay. Exactly. I mean, exactly. Coming up, you think you know the lyrics to this classic? Glad to see them back in today's parade as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, well, let's get right to our news. Thank you. The one-year anniversary of the Atlanta spa shootings was marked with rallies demanding an end to violence against Asian Americans. To the boost all the time, but these days especially. Give us a good one. This one is... Absolutely. Absolutely. All those poems about sisterhood, that's why. Yeah, yeah. it's adorable. All right, just ahead, an NBC News exclusive.